Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome to the fourth video of my Viral React series. In the previous video, we went over the fundamentals of Viral React, going over the Viral Scene Navigator, Viral AR Scene Animations, and Creating Materials. In today's video, we'll be loading 3D objects. We'll also look at how you can pass props to your scenes. So I've got two objects that we'll be loading into our application. So the first one is this skull that I've got here. So here we go. So this is one of the objects that we'll be loading and it's just a skull that will display in our viral uh, AR app. And then for the second object, uh, I've got a television. So this is our second object, it's an old TV. Uh, with this one, we'll have to apply some texture to it. So as you can see, it's not really visible or clearly visible here. And what we'll need to do is apply this uh, material here. Okay. So firstly, uh, let's continue from where we left off. Let's take a look at our application and what we've got. So as you can see, where we left off last time, we've got this 3D cube rotating here. And that's where we left off. So what we need to do now is we're going to update the UI a bit. And at the bottom here, we're going to add two buttons where the user can click to switch between the skull and the television. So to do that, I'll first need to uh, import some stuff from my React Native. So the first thing will be the view. I'll also need the text and I'll need the touchable opacity. Okay, and then when we scroll down all the way here, we'll wrap this into a view. So this will be our normal React view. And then right to the bottom here, we'll add another view. And this is where we'll have our two controls. So let's first add some styling to this view here, which will be the main view. And then we'll just pass a style called uh, main view. And then our main view will simply have a flex of one. And then we'll have another view and this uh, will be the controls view. So styles.controls view. And then for our controls view, uh, the styling, so we'll have a width of 100%. Oops. So a width of 100%. and a height of 100. Background color will be white. And then display will be flex. And for the flex direction will be row and then we'll justify our content with space between. There we go. And then inside here, we'll just have two touchable opacities. And then each of them will just have a text. And then for the first one, we'll have uh, display skull. And then for the second one, it will be display TV. Right, let's just format this. There we go. So for our touchable opacity, we'll add an on press. 
So first let's create a state. And then our state will be just uh, say object, and then set object. So the object can be either of uh, two objects, which will be the skull or the television. So we have use state, and then by default, we'll be displaying our skull. So for the first on press, we'll simply set our object state to skull, which is the default. And then for the second on press, it will be set to TV. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at how that looks so far. So I'll just uh, record my mobile screen again. And as you can see, we still have the rotating cube there, but on the bottom here, we have display skull and display TV. So let me just uh, apply some styling to my text. And the styling for this will be styles.text. Yeah, we'll just call it text. And then we'll apply this to uh, the second text uh, component that we have here as well. So let's give it a margin, maybe 10, or rather 15. Eh, make it 20, and then we'll give it a background color. And then this will be a specific shade of gray that I have here. Let me just uh, get that real quick okay so there's the sh uh, shade of gray that I want and then we'll add a painting to our text of 10 and then we'll apply some font weight to it and just make the text bold and there we go so uh, we have display scale and display TV. So what I want to do now is that when I click on display scale, it switch changes basically to the scale object and then display TV will display the television. So to do that, on our Viro ARC navigator, we need to pass a property here that goes to our initial scene. And then this initial scene, we'll just add an if statement to check what uh, state exactly, or sorry, what object exactly needs to be displayed. So here, I'll pass a new attribute called Viro App Props. So it's Viro App Props, and then this will be an object, and then we'll just pass our uh, object, uh, which is this uh, scale here as the default. So we'll say object, and then we'll pass our state. There we go. And then now here, back to our Viro AR scene, uh, we can go ahead and remove all of this. So maybe first let's just display the skull. And then to do that, I'll first need to import Viro 3D object. So let's import Viro 3D object here. So there we go. And then in here, we'll call Viro 3D object. So Viro 3D object. And then the parameters, so the first thing we need is our source. And we need to now copy or move our items here. So the TV and skull, let's copy that and then move it to our AR uh, assets folder. And just a quick one, if you need to actually download some of these 3D objects, you can take a look at sites like uh, Free3D, so Free3D.com. You can get some objects here, and then you can also take a look at TurboSquid, TurboSquid.com. You can also get some 3D uh, models from here. Another site you can take a look at is 3D Sky. Uh, 3D Sky, another one would be CG Trader.
and also uh, poly.pizza. So those are some of the sites you can take a look at if you are looking to download some of these 3D objects. And I think I got the skull. It's probably uh, on CG Trader, if not, perhaps on uh, Turbo Squid. Yeah, either one of those two. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, but you can browse these sites and take a look at what uh, the what objects they have for you. Okay, so let's just move back. So we copied our two folders. We have them in our assets folder. So now in my source here, I can just call uh, require and then get the path for my assets. So it'll be assets for slash skull and then the name of my skull is And the format of the objects I'm using here is uh, .obj files. So there we go. And then for my position, will simply be uh, 0, 0, minus 5. And we went through this as well in the previous video. So if you're not familiar with the positions or still not clued up on that, please take a look at the previous video. And then the next thing we need to set is uh, the scale of our object. So the scale for this one will be, let's see. So we'll set it to 0 0.05, 0 0.05. And then we'll need to set another property or another attribute called type, which basically specifies what type of file this is. So in our case, it's just uh, OBJ and it has to be all caps. So OBJ will be the file and we don't need any rotation and no materials. Okay. So as you can see on our application here, the skull is not appearing. And if that's the case, we might have to add some lighting to our scene. So what we need to do is just uh, import uh, viral ambient light. So we'll import viral. So viral ambient light. And then we'll just add this here. So we'll call viral. Ambient light. And then color for our light, we'll just make it white. And there we go. So as you can see, we have our skull here. Now I can't move this around or do anything with it. Okay, so we have our skull here, but uh, as you can see, we're not really seeing the skull's face or anything. So what we wanna do is add another parameter here called rotation, and I'll just paste in my properties here. So it'll be 45, 50, and 40, and then just click save there. And there we go, so we have the skull. So now I can't even drag or uh, like enhance the size of the skull. And that's something that we, uh, that will be covered in the next video. But for now, this is fine. So we have the skull being uh, displayed here. Uh, yeah, so in the next video, we'll just go over like uh, pinching, rotation, and just resizing our object using like gestures and stuff. And let's maybe try loading a different object this time around. So, uh let's pass so here we passed our viral app props so now in our initial scene here we'll pass a prompt, uh, parameter here which will be props basically and then we'll just remove this so it'll just be props so now to retrieve the uh, parameter or the viral props that we passed here. So we passed the property called object. To retrieve that data, we'll first need to create a variable here. So we passed our props. We'll just need to create a variable called uh, data. And then this will be props dot scene navigator. So it's props dot scene navigator dot viral app props. And then that will basically get all the props. But then if we want to get like a specific prop, for example, like the one we passed here, which is object, we'll just say 
uh, if uh, data dot object, right? And then this will basically return uh, the value here, which is our object state. And then we can just say object is equal to skull. Then that's when we return our skull object. Right, if not, we'll return our television. And then for the TV, let me just get that. So it's assets forward slash TV forward slash all TV. And then the name of my TV is oldtv.obg and just have it there and then I'm just going to reload my app and see what we get now so let me just reload this okay so there's our skull and then if I click display TV then we have our television being displayed uh, the size of it is quite large so let me just reduce the size a bit so let's perhaps uh, set the default object to the television because if I switch to display TV, uh, the size of it is not really uh, realistic. We have this large screen uh, being popped up here. So let's switch this or change this to TV instead. So let's try and see what that gives us. And then we can try and uh, change the scale of this. Okay, so let's just uh, adjust the scale from here. So from 001, maybe let's try uh, 00 or 02 rather. And see which scale works. So ideally, maybe we would have like a, an option to actually resize the object. Okay, so that's a little too big. Let's try 004. Try five. Okay, I think the size is fine. So now, as you can see, you know, let's try and disable this rotation first. Uh, all we're getting here is just a white screen. So we need to apply the, uh, what do you call the material that we have here, which is this image here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we already went through creating uh, materials. So we'll just change this uh, material that we created here to TV, and then we'll call assets, so TV, and then all TV, and then in here we'll just copy the name of this uh, image here. So just rename, control C, and then paste it in there. And then uh, we'll just pass materials in here. And the name of our material is TV. Okay, there we go. And then let's just try maybe rotating this. Uh, so we'll enable that, see what side we get. Okay, there we go. So here we have our television. And if I click on display skull, that should switch and show me the skull. And then I have display TV. There we go. So in the next video, what we're going to do basically is maybe uh, allow uh, the user to actually rotate the image. So if I decide to rotate the image and see the other side, I should be able to do that just using the hand gestures. And I should also be able to scale uh, this the image without having to actually set the rotation or the scale uh, by default. So we'll basically have a state for the scale, a state for the rotation, and a state for the position. Yeah, so that's it for now. Uh, see you in the next one.